Welcome of all ages. This will be the first ever episode of it will be or of uh, my ranting series rather. Sorry. And um, so basically, the ideal of this uh, this little series, which I don't know how long it will go. It might be bi-weekly. It might be you know whatever. It doesn't matter. Bi-monthly. Um, it's going to be periodically, whenever I have something to rant about, uh, something that I need to discuss, get out there to the world, everything like that. Um, so, let me start this off by saying, now, I am not the smartest person in the world, okay? There are, by far, many people smarter than me. However, I am not stupid, okay? And, so... Remember that when I talk about the things that I do and will in this series, because that will really hone you in onto what I'm actually talking about, referring to, or anything like that. Um, you know, I'm not going to be cryptic with it or anything like that and make you guess. Uh, I'm going to tell you straight out how things are, how they should be, and stuff like that. But... Uh, this new ranting series will be called The State of the Nipples. Um, and I know you're probably wondering, that's a weird name. Well, I have been doing, um, something like this for a while, uh, in terms of, uh, this, hold on. Okay. Yeah, I've been doing this for a while in terms of how many um, rants I've made with this very same name. So, State of the Nipples is the name of the rant, and today's rant, guys, is about bad teachers. Alright, so, all of you, everyone has been to school. Uh, this is something that every single person can relate to uh, fairly easy. You've had these teachers that just don't give a shit, you've had teachers that um, they don't teach you anything, and so let me set some few parameters down of for what I consider to be a good or bad teacher. So if a teacher n teaches you things all year round, but you do not remember anything that that person has taught you. I consider that person to be a bad teacher. If that teacher is tainting and polluting your mind, um, filling it with nonsense crap, or opinionated crap rather, and telling you the wrong things, that is a bad teacher. If the teacher never uh, indulges you in any way, whether you have zero respect for them or whether you would do anything for this person, it doesn't matter. For a teacher to be a good teacher, they have to do specific things. One, you might not exactly care about this subject that they're teaching, but that's okay. Um, as long as you learn something from that teacher. There's a block here. There's a block here. Where are you? There you are. Uh, if you learn something worthwhile from that teacher, something to be true, uh, that you would hold with you for the rest of your life, that could alter it in any way, shape, or form, that is a good teacher. It's the signs of a good one, anyway. Uh, you don't necessarily know everything that they're, uh, they're teaching you is right. So, uh, what I've found in my own experiences... Uh, there have been these people who, um, they will tell you things and don't really know it themselves, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Uh, they don't know what they're really saying. And so, I recently, uh, a couple weeks ago, actually, I've been holding it in until now, a couple weeks ago, I met a man who is around 34 years old, 
He is an online uh, school teacher, but he is totally opinionated with everything that he uh, talks about. And so this makes him a very, very bad teacher because he's telling these kids this ideal um, that is completely and utterly wrong. Um, you know, I don't know how he is in his actual subject, but having sat down and talked with him for a great deal uh, after getting into a heated debate, um, he really showed that he had no idea what he was talking about. Now, I can't say for certain, like I said, that uh, he has no idea what he's talking about in his field, but I have to say that even this misknowledge is just tainting. It's going to end up in devolution of the human race uh, if this like keeps up, where one person who has no fucking clue what they're talking about, about anything, um, well, about the topics that they like to speak out against, rather, if they have no clue and they're spreading that shit to other people, that person is now utterly tainted, completely tainted, to the point where now that they believe those stupid ideals that you have given them off of bullshit, um, they basically will disagree with everything that is actually accurate and uh, right. And, you know, I'm not just saying this because, damn it. I'm not just saying this because, oh, I know everything. No, I don't, okay? I, I don't know everything. I don't. I never would say I would. But in terms of that and the subject we were speaking of, um, I f do know what I'm talking about uh, fairly well, actually. And it really, really bothers me because this gentleman has told me that he had a YouTube page uh, with over 5 million views on it. And he said he talked about this same kind of thing before we got into the debate. And so, this gentleman has told 5 million people who, let's face it, uh, if they're from America, they're really not that smart, only a small percentage of them are, um, and he's told them this utter bullshit. So five million people have just been tainted. Now, what if those five million people go out and tell other people, like, hey, this is fact. This is absolutely what I believe. This is 100% correct. And people believe it because it's so hyped up and everything which, you know, happens with everything, but if it is that hyped up, guess what? Now, is it on hard mode? Oh, my bad. But now, um, like, what do you do? This person has gone to five, reached out, touched five million people, and essentially corrupted them forever uh, in terms of you know, them being knowledgeable at all and having the tenacity to go look stuff up for yourself. Confirm it. Don't believe everything that you hear. Please, guys, it's absolutely absurd. Um, if you believe everything that you've heard, well, you're going to be fucked. I'm just going to tell you that straight out. No, I'm not in or anything around with you I'm just straight out you're gonna be fucked in whatever subject that is if the person that's telling you it has no fucking clue what they're talking about so I, I pondered this for a great deal of time before actually uh, making it into a video and there's really nothing you can do in terms of this, those types of people, uh, those bad teachers, as I'm going to call them, because they're everywhere, all right? Um, in every subject, no matter where you go, at any school, there's going to be some bad teachers, some good ones, some average ones, you know, 
um, there's it doesn't matter. There's going to be all sorts of teachers, and it's just not not good because I feel, um, and you know, this is obviously just an opinion. Feel free to think whatever the hell you would like, but I've been there, so I know a little bit about this. Um, but I feel like teachers nowadays are not generate or they're not good let's, let's put it that way um their qualifications are not uh extravagant of in terms of what we really should have uh with people teaching children of the future and young adults and people their entire lives um we need people who are capable of telling the truth uh not sugarcoating anything because that will just mislead a couple or uh, several hundred people most likely so they need to be more certified i think because as it stands right now honestly there are let's say you have i don't know a hundred teachers at a school okay maybe there's less maybe more whatever hundred teachers um, out of those 100, about mm, 15 will be good, about 20 will be decent, and then look how much you have left for bad teachers. Like, they might not start off bad, but eventually, a lot of teachers, uh, they get discouraged and stuff like that, especially as they get older. And, uh, you know, they don't want to just continue teaching kids that don't respect them, blah, blah. I get it. I'm not saying teaching is an easy job. Not at all. But if you really want to teach, please don't ever stop learning. Because teaching is the one thing that could possibly save <laughs> this country. Um, we're always in demand for teachers but that is an understatement we're not in demand for teachers we're in demand for good teachers um, and that just does not exist anymore unfortunately there are very very few that do or that are very good then actually know what they're talking about because not only did they get taught it from someone who knows what they're talking about, but they went and researched it themselves because they did not trust what others said. Um, which, great idea. You would have to do this because, think about it. If you're just going to regurgitate everything that everyone else says, what have you learned? You've learned absolutely nothing. And... That's, that's how it will always be if we do not get good teachers in. Most teachers, I feel like they got their degree from the back of a cereal box. Um, like, maybe they know what their field is. But if you're going to talk about something, know about it. That, that's all I'm asking. Don't taint minds, especially young minds, because that... If you were to taint young minds, we're done. Um, the future is abysmal because there is absolutely nothing that you will be able to do to fix that person once they've been tainted by all this nonsense, bullshit, hoot nanny, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's, that's the utter truth, guys. The complete truth. Now, I am obviously not a teacher. Um, there's no doubt about that uh, to anyone, I hope. I'm not a teacher, <laughs> okay? And I know a lot of you will look at this video or look at my opinions and say, this guy's full of shit, whatever. There will be people. But if I'm able to help just one person that uh, was corrupted by an idiot who's te who was teaching you, then I, I feel very accomplished. And even though there are still those five or 499,999 others 
that desperately need that repairing afterwards, unfortunately, you can't teach them all. Um, but what I propose is that teachers have to go through a more uh, stringent curriculum of knowing things, being tested on things, going through the motions uh, in everything. Like, I don't want them to just be great at one subject. That's fine. Um, but, you know, that that will help you for that one subject. But, like, for instance, this person I met, what if he really is good at his subject? He told me that he does physics and maths. So what if he's very good with crunching numbers and everything like that? Great. We could use you. However, now you're tainting people with bullshit that you have no fucking clue what you're talking about. Now what do we do? Well, now this teacher has gone from being decent to absolute shit because... I mean, really, guys, if you look at it as how I am looking at it, you got to look and see the big picture and understand that this is not good for America. We are going to just... We're going to be trapped in a void, essentially, uh, because there's no way to reverse the effect of this, people. Not easily. So I think that all... Teachers need to have a more stringent curriculum in order to get their degree and everything like that. However, uh, teachers need to get paid a lot more than they do. They don't. So that could be a main component of why teachers are such shit. But, you know, I'm not going to hold that in there. So, like I said, I just want to see an America where there is not, I mean, other countries as well, obviously, but even though they have better education than us, uh, I want to see it where we don't have these people who just believe everything that they hear from, it doesn't even matter if it's a professor, a teacher, a guidance counselor, a parent, whatever, it doesn't matter. There could be bad bad advice coming from any of these people and as a kid as a young adult you're very easily manipulated and molded into thinking certain ideals certain ways that oh this is definitely the way it is 100 percent this is it um no <laughs> that is so so far wrong because just wow <laughs> so far wrong don't believe anything that you hear guys it takes a lot more effort i know and a lot of people are lazy including myself but you have to take that extra effort especially when it comes to your education and what things you are learning you need to take that extra step verify it for yourself Make sure, hey, this is not just some bullshit that I'm being exposed to. Um, and obviously, you know, you can't do that from a very young age. I get it. But once you get to a certain age where you should, uh, you very well should know to look things up for yourself, it becomes a different issue entirely. Because then you're just relying on others and uh, if you just rely on others for information you're gonna be so so screwed that's why like in regards with the news for instance don't just look at Fox okay don't just do it because if you do that then you're hearing one-sided biasy and then you're molded into that thinking pattern that way of uh, how everything is alike and etc like that and that's not good you have to hear both sides you have to hear
both sides of everything because if you don't, then you're just regurgitating what everyone else has said before you. And you've learned absolutely nothing along the way. And now generations to come are just royally fucked. Simple as that, uh, to put it in a nice tone. Simply fucked. Um, but that is my rant for the day. This has been the State of the Nipples. Like I said, I do not know when the next one will be. But uh, I'm sure it will be soon because there's always, always things to rant about and share the truth with. Because I, that is what I do. I share the truth with you. So, if you guys have enjoyed, um, feel free to like. I mean, I'm not forcing you. <laughs> Go for it if you want to. Whatever. And uh, if you want to see more, or hear more, rather, of me ranting with the truth, telling things, doing amazing builds along the way, hit that subscribe button so you can follow me. That's all I'm going to say, guys. Thank you very much for those of you who watched. Have a nice night. <laughs>